let's build a cathedral, shall we? Isra and she did the red cathedral before they did the white castle. So I picked this up to compare the two. And I must say, they're both great, but they can't compare. So let's talk about it. The Red Cathedral is for one to four players, and it says it plays in about 80 minutes, but it's actually more about a three hour game. Now, this is not a long game because of analysis paralysis, but some processing time, and we'll get into that. But first, let's talk about what we can do on your turn. In the Red Cathedral, Ivan the Terrible has contracted us to build out St. Basil's Cathedral. This game has a variable setup, so the cathedral itself is actually different every time you play, which is great. On your turn, you can either claim a section of the cathedral where you're going to say, hey, I've put up the scaffolding. And so this one you have to, like a construction, go from the bottom to the top. Or you can build a section of the cathedral. Unlike the scaffolding, you can build any of the sections that you have claimed. And then you could also decorate that section of the cathedral as well, because this is a beautiful jewel encrusted piece of art. Throughout the game, you're going to take actions on the center rondelle, which has a really cool dice mechanic here. So the dice itself represents the pips you're going to move around the rondelle. Now, this does add a lot to the game time. It says it plays in 80 minutes, but it took us about three hours. It was our first game, um, but it, we did all love it. But it does take a lot to actually kind of think around the circle every time you go to play your turn, like, oh, this dice will go here. This dice will go there. That dice will go there. So it does get a little bit repetitive in that sense. And the White Castle has definitely improved on that dice action selection area where you can pick it and just go place your, your dice down wherever you want. Once you have actually activated an action, there's also artisans that you can activate as well as a bonus action for that action. And then on your workshop, there's also more bonus actions. So once again, she and Isra have come up with this combo -y kind of idea. So every action you take, you should try and aim for a combo, which is really cool. Once someone has completed six sections of the cathedral, the game is over and then you score up. The scoring in the game is quite unique as well. So each tower in the cathedral is assigned a particular point value. And then it's an area of majority to say who wins those points. Calculating these points of the tower was also a little bit complicated and convoluted, um, but I still really like this game for some reason, even though I don't normally like the idea of having to do taxes every time I play a game. So anytime I have to calculate a lot of things at the end of a game, I'm like, eh, maybe not. So I would definitely say White Castle is definitely better than the Red Cathedral. However, there is also another She and Isra game coming out at Essen called Flatiron that I have pre-ordered. So we will take that into consideration as well and see what they've gone. They have also another game that's a little more party oriented called Keyframes coming out as well. That one I'm not so interested in, but I am excited for Flatiron because it's actually a 3D type of board. So ooh, components. So overall, I would say the Red Cathedral is worth picking up. I would like to try out the expansion and I have also recently printed a 3D insert to definitely speed up the setup because there are a lot of components. So anytime that I can just pull these particular dishes right out of the box makes setup way faster and way better. So make sure you'd like, subscribe, follow along and tell me, have you ever been to a beautiful, gorgeous architecture cathedral and which one was it? Have a good day and we will see you next time. Bye!